always just wildly flailing around as you go through space. Man, Ratchet, can't you fly in a straight line? The heck is your problem, dude? I am Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. Man, this is the third time we've been back here. Isn't that hilarious? <laughs> I don't know, probably. Uh, real quick, I did want to come back here because there is a few things we can clean up now that we have certain upgrades. So I figured, you know, might as well do it now, since I'm thinking about it and all that. Uh, over here by Skid's agent are some cool wall things. We can use our magna boots for the first time ever and just climb on up. Uh, up here, I don't actually entirely remember anything up here. I mean, I know there's one thing up here, but I don't remember anything else. Um... I mean, somewhere there is a thing up here. I mean, so far, all I'm finding is a bunch of boxes, which is, I mean, cool, but not what I want. There we go. I figured that I would find it. I did, in fact, find it. There was a golden bolt here, so we finally got that the last gold bolt on this planet that was yet hiding from us until now. Right. Uh, I also want to go back to my ship. Yeah, that's a thing. While you got the Magna Boots on, uh, Ratchet cannot jump, so keep that in mind. That'll be a gameplay importance at some point. Okay, I want to go back to my ship real quick. Sounds like... Well, I mean, I'd have to go back to my ship anyway, because, like, I'm leaving now, almost. Uh, but I want to pull out the Devastator real quick, because, yet again, we need to shoot some ships. Uh, they will lock onto things as long as the green reticle is present, so, you know, do that. You gotta shoot, I think, like, three of these, probably? I don't remember, actually. Yeah, it's three. Okay. Now that that's done, onward to the next place! All right, back on the space station, because now we have the O2 mask. You recall this little area over here where uh, Clank had to go by himself? Well, we got the O2 mask, so now that's not a problem anymore. We can breathe in space, it's fine. Uh, importantly, though, there is somewhere a thing, and I don't exactly remember where it is. Remember how, like, huge this place felt when we were first here as Clank? And now all of a sudden, we're just, you know, Ratchet. Are these boxes I can break? They sure are, but there's nothing in them. Weird. Uh, somewhere around here is a golden bolt, and I don't remember exactly where it is. I just know we need to be taller to reach it. Uh, thank goodness Ratchet has the ability of tall. I, at present, I'm still not quite remembering where this is, but I'm sure I will spot it yet. Is it on this next ship, or was it on the last one? Because it's possible that it was. Oh, well, gravity exists in space, as it were. Well, it's right there, actually. I'm not clear on where that is, but I'm gonna die again real quick, just for good measure. Oh, I just go over here. Well, that was easy. <laughs> Man, all that effort for nothing, turns out it was just here. All right, cool. Oh. This is a nice little shortcut, apparently. I don't think I remember this being a, a thing. So that's pretty cool. Yeah! Shortcut for me! I mean, to be fair, this game has been pretty consistent with that, because if you didn't have enough, like, enough bolts to buy the grind boots, then you would have had to come back here. Anyway, the point is, I want to, um... Go into the dark void? Oh, okay. <laughs> it looked like a dark void. No, I want to try this again, but this time let's actually only use the wrench. I guess.
I'm gonna say, if that doesn't count, I don't know what else would, because I literally use nothing but the wrench, so... Alright, well, I've redeemed myself. <laughs> Finally. I think that's it, so, uh, on to the next, I guess. Last but not least, we've got ourselves a mission of grave importance here in Battalia. Uh, but first off, I don't exactly remember how to do this, but I'm gonna have to give it a shot here. Uh, there is another skill point. I mentioned last time I was here, I could have probably got it while I was here, but, uh, I didn't. So, you know. Ha! I got you good, guy! Alright, let's get rid of these little robots. They do not concern me. Uh, I need to go back here and get that Sonic Summoner again. I was gonna say, aren't there dudes here? Or are they gone? I guess they're gone? That's weird, but okay. Alright, Sonic, let's go. So the skill point involves, uh, I believe, killing tanks with the Sonic Summoner, which kind of involves going quick. Because I don't, again, I cannot remember if this guy's on a time limit or a bullet limit. Um, so, you know, I need you to shoot the tank guy. Please shoot the tank. Thanks. Really cool. All right, get out of here, guy. There's another tank down here somewhere. Yeah, over there. All right, tank, get a load of my friend. His name is Sonic. Is he gone already? That's very tragic. I have a feeling it's a bullet limit rather than a time limit. Which means I probably need to go through and kill a bunch of dudes first. Fair enough, but I'm gonna wanna reset the world, so goodbye, cruel world, I'll miss you. Take him out! Is there another tank? I wasn't aware there was another tank, but I guess there might be, because I have yet to get the skill point. Unless I accidentally damaged the tank before? Is there another... Are they counting tanks over here? They might be, but that's weird to me. Anyway, we got the Magna Boots, which means we can go across this thing. That's a thing we can do. This is very weird and kind of silly, if you ask me. This guy's gonna waste his bullets on these little guys, and I'm not happy about it, probably. Or he's just not gonna pay any attention to them. I mean, I'm okay with that, if this isn't... I, that's just it. I still am unsure if it's a time limit or a bullet limit, but I'm thinking it's bullet because the dude is not doing anything right now. And, uh, just, nope, never mind, he's gone. All right, well, I guess, uh, in reality, I did not quite solve the puzzle of how I am to do this, so we'll just, we'll just ignore it for now. Guy, I need you to not. I've had quite enough of you in the past. Let's just actually don't. All right, this guy's summoning more little friendly robots. They do zappies. Why do you guys have to do the zappies? Stop that, please. No more zappies. No more. Alright. I'm wondering if I couldn't go back and get the Sonic summoned again. Does that actually work? I don't remember if you can go back and get it again. 
Uh, but this bolt crank over here, the one guy refused to throw us to activates a bridge shortcut, so... There is that. Because I know there's probably more tanks. That guy just flying around. I don't like him very much. That rocket doesn't know where it's going. That was weird. <laughs> I'm gonna try to go back real quick just to see what happens. You know, why does this exist? Like, forget throwing me across the gap. There's a freaking flying transport vehicle. The heck, video game? Oh, you can summon another one. All right, neat. Oops. Can I just ride this? I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. All right, friend relocated. Uh, please destroy the last of the tanks. There are two of them here. That's all I need you to do. Please also, I do not wish to die. Thanks. All right. I, I'm glad I've learned that I can just do that because honestly, I don't think I knew that. So it's fine. Ah, we're here. It's time for this thing. Uh, I would like to say it's time for this thing, but I need to actually hey, get up Hey, I know you two. Look, the plumber's back. Very funny. What are you doing here, sir? Maintenance. What else? I help fix this planet's useless air defenses. Well, I think you'd better hurry up. The turret works fine, you little yahoo. It's the locals. They haven't got the skilled manpower to use it. I'm a pretty good shot. You? No, I could lose my job. Oh, come on. What's the sense of keeping up a turret if nobody's gonna use it? Besides, the blog chased you off the last planet. Why don't we pay him back? Well, all right, go on if you want. Just don't break anything. Okay, I will break nothing. Certainly not the enemy ships, because that would be rude. <laughs> all right, let's, let's use the turret. All right, time to use the turret to break things. That thing I said I wouldn't do. Red dots indicate bad stuff. Always aim for the red dots. Uh, but more importantly, you should probably aim also at these things. I am not clear if, oops. I got a skill point, apparently. Uh, what was that skill point, actually? You know what, I think there's a skill point for shooting a bunch of flying ships or something, and I just kind of got it on accident. So that's pretty hilarious, actually. <laughs> I'm okay with it. Are you okay with it? I hope you're okay with it, because I'm not taking it back. I literally can't anyway. Alright, you... Why are you shooting missiles at me? It's extremely rude. Extremely. Actually, I can't think of a ruder thing. Alright, let's get a move on. This looks like the big boy ship now. The big boy ship. I've always had this feeling that you need to hit, like, different parts of the ship to actually break it. You don't just kind of generally hit the same spot over and over again. But, I mean, I, there really is no basis for that. I tried to hit that missile, but it didn't work. Alright, well, I mean, I'm just gonna keep on keeping on over here. I didn't even see that missile. I wasn't paying attention. This is kind of an unfortunate situation of please pay attention to the radar, otherwise you will die. Well, look who's awake. You're lucky I was here to drag your unconscious keister out of that turret. Good news is, I got the cannon fixed again. Cool. I wasn't aware there was a death cutscene for that, but I also get to start over, so that's exciting. Well, well, well. Looks like he's good for something after all. Here, take this. What is it? It detects underground bolts. My grandfather designed it to suck up loose change on any planet in the galaxy. What a cheap old man he was. Well, see you around sometime. Probably in a year. Since you now own the metal detector, a bolt icon will show up on screen whenever you are near a buried stash of bolts.
When equipped, the metal detector will give you signals to indicate your proximity to the buried bolts. The detector plate will always indicate the direction to the bolts. Hold down the circle button to activate the device. As you move closer to the bolts, the rings will become redder and the beeping will become faster. Continue holding down the circle button and once you are directly over the bolts, the metal detector will suck them out of the ground. This is a cool little thing, but unfortunately I don't think it's really super worth it a lot of times. There are probably certain spots where you can like hunt for bolts and get a lot from it, but it doesn't feel like it's super useful. Also, this was it. The, like this, whoops, 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 whoops. Whoops, sorry. Uh, this is it. This is the, the place I came here for. Yeah, there's, there's bolts somewhere, but who knows where those could be. Uh, over here, I guess. Alright, I have discovered them. Does that icon show up even if I don't have the metal detector out? I mean, probably. Alright, well, uh, that was fun. We did some stuff and the plumber was there. That was exciting. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I thought this kind of led to like, I don't know, an info bot or something. I guess it was just straight up uh, bonus content. Silly me, I don't know where the commander went. You'd think he'd be here, but uh, he's not. <laughs> that, that's weird. Anyway. Uh, we gotta go. We gotta go, cause now we gotta go. We gotta go. Nice. Let's go back to Orkson. And next time, we explore this on foot. Well, I mean, Ratchet's feet, specifically. We'll see you later and goodbye.